Hello. Thank you for attending. Uh, as you can see with this slide, uh, today's webinar is moving from Alfresco Community to Alfresco Enterprise. Uh, my name is Scott Rost. I'm with Zia Consulting, and I'm the Vice President of our Professional Service Group. I'd uh, also like to just a little more background on Zia. We have been around since 2003 and just had our nine-year anniversary in May of this year. Start over. I can't get to the next slide. Hello. Uh, thank you for attending. My name is Scott Rost. I am Vice President of Professional Services with Zia Consulting. And today's webinar is Moving from Alfresco Community to Alfresco Enterprise. You can see in this slide today's agenda. We're going to go through the advantages of migrating from Alfresco Community to Enterprise. I'm going to discuss how Zia and Alfresco can make this possible for your organization. And specifically, I'd like to go over the implementation process that Zia has refined over the last nine years to ensure that we deliver successful projects, uh, which are on time and within budget. You can see uh, this first bullet, the assessment service. That is one of our key or core offerings that ensures that this migration happens uh, successfully. And then when we complete our assessment service, we jump right into a migration. Um, the next item will be a case study from a project that we completed uh, in 2011. I think this was in uh, the early portion of 2011. And after that, I will go through some of the core offerings uh, that Zia provides for Alfresco Enterprise Services. On this slide, come in, we're open. This speaks to the fact that Alfresco is the largest open source ECM company in the world. It's a technology platform that is commercially viable and enterprise ready, enterprise ready being the key here with over 250 global channel partners and over 2,500 customers worldwide. With a platform that has a base this broad, you can see that it's been thoroughly vetted by many of the largest uh, Fortune 500 companies, such as Home Depot, Marriott, and Fox. Why enterprise versus community? If your organization has decided to deploy community, um, the next couple of slides will highlight specific functionality and services that differentiate Alfresco Enterprise. The first one you'll notice and highlighted in red, community does not provide access to Alfresco or certified platinum support. Uh, with Enterprise, you don't need to go it alone when attempting to deploy an enterprise content management solution. Having support from partners that have implemented many such projects and experienced the pitfalls can greatly increase the likelihood of delivering a successful solution to your organization. Also, you don't need to have all the necessary skills in-house from the very beginning of the project. You can grow into this as much as your organization uh, feels necessary. Uh, you'll also notice the High availability cluster certified is only available for Alfresco Enterprise. Um, if your organization needs that kind of uh, redundancy or failover, you can only get that with Enterprise. Um, also, the functionality from open source platform all the way through document management. All of this is available in Enterprise, and the community version does not include records management. So if records management standard uh, 5015 of the DOD is something that your organization must have, then enterprise is the option that you need to pursue. Also, enterprise provides multi-condition queries, audit trails. So you get that full, robust ECM set of functionality with enterprise and community. Um, community is missing a few of those items. Besides the complete functional set in Alfresco Enterprise, you get the Alfresco commitment to provide top-notch support to meet the needs of its client base, 
Uh, one of the nice options here is Alfresco has a dedicated support team in three worldwide locations. They provide JIRA fixes or trouble tickets. Um, and the different support options that you see on this screen, uh, you'll note that Gold or Standard provides a 9 by 5 support. With this, you get certified support contacts, certified Alfresco documentation, certified binaries, and alerts. Uh, if your organization needs 24 by 7 coverage, Platinum is the option. Uh, this includes the same features that Gold plus the hot fixes, clustering or load balancing and database support with upgrades. The hot fixes are key to note here. Um, if there is a particular defect that your organization needs to have uh, remedied uh, before the next point or patch release is available, Alfresco's engineering team will develop that hot fix for you. You can test it in your dev or test environment and then deploy it before the next patch or major release is available. And also to note, database support is really key because you can provide a copy of your organization's database to the engineering team. They will do an analysis and provide a list of updates or script changes that need to be implemented before completing the upgrade. And that can save quite a bit of time during the course of an upgrade. From a quality assurance perspective, the Alfresco Enterprise option provides extensive QA testing. There are 16 dedicated QA engineers and they run through an automated and manual set of QA tests on over 5,000 tests per, per technology stack. Uh, some options of that are Linux and MySQL, Linux and Postgres, and Windows. Um, so this is quite a bit of testing that ensures that the binaries that your organization receives have been thoroughly vetted. And if your organization is using uh, an example of community such as 3.4 and you would like to move to the latest version of Alfresco uh, 4.0, these are some of the features that your organization will see. Um, you'll get a consumer-like UI that's focus focused on socializing content. Uh, access to this content anywhere. Uh, you can use PC, laptop, or mobile devices. Um, collaboration inside or outside the firewall. And there are some uh, nice performance improvements in the Alfresco 4 Enterprise version as well. Ten times faster for dashboard queries, three to four times faster on content uploads, and 25 to 50 percent faster for accessing your documents in the document library, looking at the metadata or the document details, and significant improvements in your search and indexing using the new Solar Indexing Engine. Now, Forrester performed a study in December 2011 uh, looking at Alfresco enterprise implementations. Uh, this is based on an average implementation of two CPUs clustered, uh, is my understanding for the study. And what Forrester found is that the 10-month average payback period, um, a 1.3 million in IT and training cost savings, a 53% ROI in three years, all of this with a flexible system based on open standards. Now that you've seen the benefits of Alfresco Enterprise, I'd like to discuss a little bit more about how Zia and Alfresco can make this possible for your organization. Alfresco named Zia as Partner of the Year for 2011, and we intend to achieve that same uh, mark in 2012. As I mentioned earlier, we've been in the ECM business since 2003. Uh, we had our nine-year anniversary in May, and the projects that we've worked on range from document management, records management, collaboration. We've worked in different verticals from financial services, technology, healthcare, government, uh, government commercial and publishing. And we've done specific customizations uh, to Alfresco. Uh, project management, we have a fresh project application that has an integration to MS project 
and provides different roll-ups for project uh, management metrics. So action items, risk issues, all these data list tasks can be assigned to individuals and then uh, track that progress in both Alfresco and MS Project for tasks that are specifically uh, focused to MS Project. You can also look at Gantt charts. Um, we have also a contract or workflow BPM tool. And we are working towards making these all available in a mobile environment as well as uh, Alfresco from your PC. To do the uh, successful migration from community to enterprise, an organization needs to follow an assessment service or an assessment process. What we typically do there is assess, is this a small, medium, large application? Um, based on that, the time could take anywhere from three days to three weeks. Uh, we will look at what's in place or what needs to be created for the 2B solution. And typically to do that, we conduct workshops with client sponsors, end users, and admins to identify uh, document types or object types. These have specific metadata, and that makes up the content model. We will also look at any uh, customizations, workflows, or integrations into third-party applications. Uh, we'll also go a little bit more into the taxonomy, so creating sites that could be departmental or project-based. Uh, this is for collaboration. We will address the folder, uh, folder structure per site and then access control list or ACLs. All of this to provide better navigation, search, and access or security for your Alfresco repository. And the result of this effort is our roadmap. The roadmap is basically the magic sauce that the client can use to plan for the migration. And to do the migration, we will follow a implementation methodology that, again, Zia has um, enhanced over the last nine years. What we typically do is follow an iterative or an agile approach. We break down our functionality into two to three week iterations. And with this, we pull quality forward by delivering production quality code. And that code is then tested by the client's organization at the end of each iteration. We find that this helps uh, with adoption process from end users through the system admins. And the healthcare case study, uh, again, this was implemented in 2011. Uh, the project was approximately two and a half months long. It included an assessment content modeling designed for high availability. We needed to rebuild custom Java code to work with enterprise libraries. And also, the final part was an upgrade from 3.2 community to the 3.3 release of Alfresco Enterprise. The project went very smoothly, and we're currently developing a use case that you will find on our website that provides more detail to this project. This next slide uh, talks about some of the other service offerings that Zia provides. We had recently uh, conducted another webinar, and you can see the link on this slide if you want to access it, or you can contact me at srost at Zia Consulting for more details. Uh, but the essence of Paper to Mobile, that's a focus that Zia has in 2012 to support our clients' business needs. And really, um, we have different cloud options for hosting Alfresco. This flexibility, or excuse me, the options of that are on-premise, public, private, or hybrid. And the flexibility of these different options provides a compelling story for our clients because of the high degree of efficiency with low cost. On this slide, you can see how Alfresco is the core of Zia's business. And we have different te other technologies that are predominantly open source that we either feed Alfresco or deliver content. And I'll speak a little bit to the Episoft uh, functionality at the top of this 
diagram. With FSOFT, uh, you might have a paper problem where your scanning content needs to land somewhere. And luckily, Alfresco is um, that content management uh, landing, landing spot. And we found that that scanning need does drive content needs. So it just increases the use of Alfresco. Um, when you place that content into Alfresco, you can then also serve that up using a mobile device. So you'll see here that we've got different um, options for serving that with either Alfresco Mobile or Fresh Docs, which again is one of Zia's uh, custom applications. The Open Work Desk is a transactional content management user interface that gives you just a different view into the content that is hosted inside the Alfresco repository. We also provide uh, enterprise service bus integration uh, with MuleSoft, and that allows us to integrate with third-party applications such as PeopleSoft, Oracle, or Salesforce. With that, I will open the floor for questions. At this time, no questions. I will say thank you. Again, if you have any other uh, comments or questions down the road, you can reach me at srost at ziaconsulting.com, 303-717-6104. Thank you for your time.